Hey there guys, my name is Duty, aka the Birthday Stealer, and welcome to Hollow Your Week Thursday. It's gotta be Frank and Winnie. Burton's creepy young Frankenstein, his birthday false Winnie. Frank and Winnie is originally a black and white short film that's in Burton's original release in 1984. And turning it into a feature-length movie with a visually labor of love for the director, both a homage to classic monster movies and a tender relationship drama about the love between a boy and his dog. This is a film that works on so many levels. For kids and tweens, there's a basic story of the boy who will stop at nothing to get back his best friend. For young, scary movie buffs and adults, there are countless reverence to the horror gerund that are seamlessly woven into the story. Violence. The movie has a gener generally dark and frightened tone, argumented by the often suspenseful music. Most of Victor's classmates are creepy looking, especially the tall and freaky sounding Nasar and the children of the corn. Look alike with his cat that makes prophetic. Letter shaped poop. Several scary sequences, including a visible reanimated fish that bites the entire last part of the movie, were reanimated pets, giant sea monkeys, a mummified creature, and a Godzilla like turtle terrorized New Holland and its town folk. Pets die, and other pets turn into monsters that smash and destroy. Sex. Parents hug. A mother reads a romance novel, and Sparky flirts with the neighbor's dog. Persephone, Victor and Elsa are sweet in a flirtatious way. Talk your kids about. Families can talk about the Frankenweenie scare factor. Are the frightened scenes too much for little kids, or are they funnier than they are scary? Who do you think they're intended to appeal to? Do you think kids will get the movie's reference to horror movie characters? Why do you think Tin Bird's signature style is so dark? Would the movie have the same impact if Sparky was a different kind of pet? What's the appeal of dog movies? Well, that's it, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!